Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today I'm going to show you how to pick up your guitar and play Knocking on Heaven's Door. This is a Bob Dylan song. You may have heard it covered by some other folks, but it's a great one to learn, especially if you're a beginner and you're only a few chords in to your guitar learning journey. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. As I show you this stuff, reminder, playsongnotes.com is where you can find printouts of everything I'm about to show you. Okay, so after this video, if you want to study some stuff, go check it out. You'll find my notes for this lesson and all my other lessons too. All right, so let's get to it. So chord-wise, let's look at the chord you're going to need for this song. G is all six strings. We're gonna be third fret, second fret, open, open, third fret, third fret, okay? So that's middle finger on the low E string, third fret, index finger on the A string, second fret, open, meaning don't push down anything, on the D string and on the G string, and on the B string and the E string, third fret each, okay? Now, you can play a G with your uh, B string open, so it's third, second, open, 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 third, okay? That's a valid G just as this is. So you can do either one you want, but I'm gonna show you a trick here. If you do the version with your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, it makes the next chord easier to switch to, because look at that. It's a pivot note where I'm keeping it still on the D chord, okay? D chord is the thinnest four strings, open, second, third, second. Okay? Make sure that D, that fourth string, is your bass note, okay? But again, look at that transition from the G to the D. Notice how my ring finger is staying perfectly still, okay? So that's a little trick. It makes switching easier. You're taking care of like a third of your work because your finger is already there, okay? Now for the C chord. C chord, you're going to have to, I think, first take from the D your ring finger should move over to the third fret of the A string, okay? So then worry about your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and then your index finger on the first fret of the B string. So third, second, open, first, open. And again, we're not playing this low E string, okay? Start your strumming on the fifth string. So once more, that's G to D to C, okay? But basically, practice going between the G, the D, and the C, okay? If you can do this, you can do 99% of what you need for this song, really, okay? So, but A minor, if you can play a C, an A minor is simply lifting off your ring finger and putting it on the second fret of the G string, okay? So then you're doing open, second, second, first, open. Okay? So that's an A minor, that's a C. That's an A minor, that's a C. And again, of the three notes you're playing in the C and the A minor, your index and middle are in the same position for both chords. Now let's talk about the timing and the strumming next, okay? So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you'll notice, now I'm doing only down strums at first, and that's what I really recommend doing if you're new to strumming patterns, okay? Feel the beat, count to four, strum on the ones and the threes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then from there, we can get a little bit more spicy with things. We could add another down strum on the four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, okay? And then the final step is adding an up strum on the four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and down, down, down. One, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, one, two, three, four and 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 one. All right? So that's the strumming pattern. Go through that section of the video again if you're having trouble with it. But really, take it as simple as you need to if you need to dial up the, you know, the E's, right? Just do a down strum on the one and the three. Because really, I want you to play this song. And let me show you how that's used in the actual song. So basically, you're going to do one measure of G, one measure of D, two measures of A minor, 
and then the next time you do one measure of G, one measure of D, and then two measures of C, okay? So then you repeat that. So, so if you look at it big picture, you're doing four measures with A minor at the end, and then you're doing four measures with C at the end, and then you just repeat that over and over again. So here's what it would sound like in context. Mama, take this badge off of me. I can't take it anymore. Okay, and we do that all again. It's getting dark, too dark to see. Feels like I'm knocking on heaven's door. All right, now for the chorus. You can do the same thing. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Now I'm going to show you how to do these little flare notes in a minute, so hang in there. Knock, knocking on heaven's door. Alright, so there you have it. That's really what you're going to need for the verse and the chorus, okay? Now, so before I go, I want to show you a few cool little tricks you can do with some of the chords you play. The first of these is that sort of pinky note I was doing that you might have heard there at the end. And you can definitely hear this in the Bob Dylan version. But basically, when you're on the A minor or the C, you'll notice that your pinky is free. And what you can do is put it down on the third fret of the high E string. And then on the final few counts of either the A minor or the C, you can sort of emphasize some additional up strums. So that would sound like this. Let me do the whole sequence. D to A minor. Four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. D to three, four to C, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, so basically you hear that I'm going. Okay, it's up, 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 down, all right? So it's on the final, um, you know, handful of eighth notes of, of the A minor and the C, but listen along. Again, you can do it on the A minor, and you also can do it on the C. And the great part about doing this little riff is it sounds cool, number one, but it puts your pinky where it needs to go for when you switch to the G chord, okay? So it makes that transition from the A minor to the G, or the C to the G, that much easier, okay? So another one I can show you is just some quick um, ways of, you, you can release notes to make a cool sound effect. So on the D, you can, okay? Just by lifting up your middle finger on the high E string, you can sort of let that high E string ring open and then go back to a regular D. So that would be like, Do it again. Okay? Similarly, with the A minor, you can lift off your index finger like this. And then with the C, you can lift off your middle finger. Okay? So again, it's the D. You can lift off that note and do this freely. Do it with the strumming. Feel, feel it in the song. Listen and sort of let your strumming hand go and then just let your left hand, as you get comfortable, release those notes and add them back. It sort of adds some just natural sort of improvisational little bit of flourish, little flair, right? For the A minor, your index finger. And for the C, your index finger here, okay? Now lots of songs use this little trick, so these are good ones to pick up. The final thing I'll show you is this walk down when you're going from a C to a G, okay? Instead of just doing a plain C and then a plain G with the strumming, what you can do is on the C, what I'm doing there is starting on the bass note of the C, it's a third fret of the fifth string, third, second, open, third on the low E, okay? So the third, second, open is on the fifth string. Okay, so C. All 
all right? So if you do that, try to stay in time, meaning when you hit the G chord finally, make sure it's on the one count, okay? But otherwise, uh, that's all you're gonna need for this song. It's a good one to learn. Um, you know, not many chords, it just shows you what you can kind of do. So thank you for watching. Again, this is David Potts with Song Notes. I want you to pick up that guitar and play. I can't take it.